It's been a while since we've been out on any of the maps actually hunting, and uh, for this one, we're out on Te Avaroa. Yeah, ironically. But we brought the smoke stick, and uh, if we can get a huge male with the smoke stick, that would be perfect. It's gone, it's too good. <laughs> if you're new to the channel and you want daily Call of the Wild content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. And we started out with completely obliterating a feral pig. Feral pig is still one of the animals that I do miss of a diamond out here on Te Avaroa. But I have hopes that uh, at some point it's gonna happen. The other one being the chamois. But um, we can even take that down with the uh, small round balls on the smoke stick as well, in case we should find any of those. I gotta be honest, it's actually pretty insane with big bacon out here. This might actually be another potential gold scoring one if we don't mess it up. Is it gonna be walking straight towards it? There we go. Let's turn in. Can we make that shot? Yeah, we should be able to. Just look at it, they're not even moving anywhere. I do know that we're probably gonna go for like a, that is probably gonna be like a double long shots, but still, they just drop right on the spot. And uh, I mean, no problem having a little bit of a long reload time if you take them down instantly like we're just doing right now. So as long as you only have one animal you wanna take down, if you've never tried the uh, smoke stick from the Smoking Barrels DLC, the Hot Sig 50 cab lock muscle loader, then um, you might have been missing out on one of the best guns in the game. Just look at the kind of penetration you're getting, and um, unfortunately it was only a silver, but still, it's just too damn good, and we're getting some really good smoked bacon right here. That one over there is gonna be our target, 200 meters out. Fortunately, that is one of the searing ranges for the muscle loader. So, boom! <laughs> and down he went. <laughs> God dang it, man. This gun right here. Well, he dropped on the spot as well, so it's going to be quite interesting to see if we actually did get double lungs and all the way through the pig, or uh, we actually got lucky with a heart shot. Nope, all the way through. Double lungs on a brown hybrid and 100... 27.90 trophy rating big boy we have now changed the round so we are using the round balls instead that also means that we can now take down these guys the chamois oh, they are no it's gonna be running off dang it ah uh, well wasn't really gonna be anything special anyway and we do have another one out here with a uh, pretty decent estimate up till 46. Let's just smoke it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. They just completely crumble up. Oh, dang. Forgot to actually let it reload till the end. But yeah, being able to take down the chamois and even the feral goat with uh, the muscle loader definitely makes it one of the best guns for Tevaror if you are trophy hunting you're just completely obliterating them they are not standing any kind of chance if you're shooting the level three of the class three animals with the round balls and any of the uh, feral pigs and such with the minis they're gonna go down and they're gonna go down hard got another few chamois drinking out here so uh that is definitely gonna be one uh, something in there. I can't spot that. Come. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> I don't wanna mess this up. We need to get close enough so it definitely is gonna be a vital. Oh, I can't spot it. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> I need to see you. Let me have a spot. Uh, I can't see it. Give me. I needed to move out of that stuff right there, so I definitely can have a uh, clear shot on that thing. Uh, come on, just give me this. There we go. I can do that. That's 140 out. It's completely broadside currently. I mean, even with a pretty bad zeroing, I suppose it should be doable. Just go a little high. Okay, that wasn't doable. What? What did I hit? Apparently nothing. God dang it. Well, 
As long as we didn't hit it so it doesn't accidentally bleed out, it should return here. So, god, what? I mean, 140? I wouldn't expect it to drop below it, but it didn't look like we hit it, so um, hopefully it is going to return right down here in just a moment. It really been a while since we actually ended up spooking him, and now he's finally back. And um, I actually got to the point where I got desperate and wanted to walk the entire lake around so I'd be able to approach from the other side. But um, as soon as I got as far away as this, then of course he turns up. So let's get back and try again. I have no idea if I actually hit the little branch or whatever was in front of him. Or if that bullet drop was just too bad to actually reach there. So uh, we're going to have to try again. And this time we're not going to be taking any stupid chances we do have the 243 to take him down if we do need to but honestly i'd love to be able to take him down with the muscle loader so that is gonna be our objective he's 130 out at the moment he's attentive now so he'll go alert there we go and then oh no i forgot to reload <laughs> oh god dang it get reloading gun ah don't spook him Wind is good. Wind is good. So the only way he should be running off is if he sees us. And I don't think he's gonna. Uh, I don't want to take that shot. We took that shot on a chamois just before as well. That ended up not being good. God dang it. <laughs> I had perfect broadside and everything for a moment as well. Let's see if we can make him alert again. Attentive. Alert. Come on. Take the side steps, big boy. I don't want to... I, I could take that shot. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I could have taken it and just gone for the liver instead. But I just want him to turn to the right, right here. And then everything should be fine. Oh, that's even worse than before, isn't it? This guy is giving us a hard time. We're now in the range where it does make sense, though, so... We just need him to actually do the right turn and then he is going to be done. Okay, let's just go out here then. Go around him, see if we can get a little more broadside just so we at least get the liver. Because I am not going to be dealing too much with this guy right here. He's out on about 80 meters right here. Ah, this should be doable, right? Or 90 meters maybe. If we go right there, that should be lungs... Or liver, right? Oh, we dropped him. So unless we hit the spine, everything right now should be perfect. And we maybe just used the muscle loader to get our first chamois diamond. And if I could get that and only have the feral pig left on this map, that would be huge. So let's just see that is vital blood. Now we just need him to be big enough. It's a diamond 61.50. Huge male right there. Finally able to cross off the chamois. The chamois. Call it whatever you want. You know what I'm going to call it from now on? Done. Ah, that feels good. I think it's even a pretty big one as well. So uh, that's not bad. And uh, took him down with the muscle loader. <laughs> We're now well into the fallow deer drink time here and um, we've gone back to the spot we started out with which was our uh, fallow deer and pig hotspot and we have got quite a few fallow deers in here now. None really big but I do want to just go around and kill a few of them simply because it's just that fun with just blowing a huge load of um, smoke in the face of the animals and uh, you know it's... I'm so happy that I finally got the chamois out of the way as well. So right now, I don't even care. If we don't find anything else nice for the rest of the video, everything is gonna be just fine. Because we got the chamois out of the way. We didn't get the feral pig, but um, surely we're gonna get that eventually. So let's just pick up this little guy. Double lungs, I would assume. Well, oh, the, out the other side of the animal. <laughs> These minis, they just go right through them we need to remember to change the rounds because else we're gonna mess stuff up but right here i feel like we have an opportunity to see if with the chamois the first shot we ended up taking 
if we ended up doing something bad or if it's simply just a drop because over there 150 meters away it was about the uh, range i took the shot on the shaman the first shot i need him to turn around there we go this guy right here is just having none of it now he's going back to being calm uh, maybe we should just go for the frontal then Does not look like we have the penetration to get there, and I would have imagined that we would have been taking him down with a lung shot. Or even just a uh, straight on hard shot from this angle, but um, maybe we just don't have the penetration. I just want him down now. And he is gonna go down, so now we can actually get to the other side and see what's going on. He's 140 meter out as it is right now. And uh, I think if we can make it out to this little island kind of thing in my bob right here, we should have a pretty good chance. Uh, I think the diamond estimate is like 208. So he's actually well into potential diamond. So uh, maybe we're actually going to get lucky. I just want to double check. Yeah, we are using the uh, round ball so everything should be perfect we just need him to go alert step around step around come on could have taken that shot but i don't want to after we just had that incident before that's not gonna be enough that is not gonna be enough to take him down the good thing is he's still not bled out. Bad thing is he's probably far gone. He's right over there. He's not even close to bleeding out. This is really interesting. I mean, I'm tempted to just take the 243 to at least save it if it is going to be a diamond. I don't see why we shouldn't. Surring 150 right now. He's just going to be walking straight back here. I actually need him to see us. He is alert. I'm afraid he might... There we go. That should be lungs, I'm pretty sure. Now he's down as well. Did kind of take the cheesy way of uh, taking him down with the 243. But, uh, I mean, if we were about to lose out on the potential diamond, maybe the round ball just aren't as good as I kind of wanted them to be. Or uh, maybe I'm just taking shots that I shouldn't be taking. Because obviously they're not meant to shoot the same distance as the minis. Because the minis are freaking cannons. But right here he is down. Um, is that going to be a diamond though? It is. We saved ourselves a diamond. Oh, it didn't even have the penetration to get in there. It was actually... I want to call that it should have been at least a liver shot. Um, maybe even a liver and uh, left lung shot but we just didn't have the penetration so unfortunately we had to settle with the 243 so yeah the round balls definitely not good at um, longer than a hundred meters that um, is kind of unfortunate but we saved the diamond and uh, honestly wasn't too bad after all and with that there it is the feral goat has made it up up to the wall here next to another diamond but this guy right here, who looks uh, completely out of place on these small plaques because they didn't move them up a little bit, but that is what it is, is our diamond dark brown chamois. And honestly, I'm happy to have one of those by now because that means we're done hunting those. That was a really good hunt on Tavarore. The smokestick definitely prevails. If you're using the minis, not so much if you're using the round balls. Thank you so very much for watching.